Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 28th of January, Thursday of the week of Epiphany 3. Jan Richardson from The Cure for Sorrow, a book of blessings for times of grief. What I really want to tell you is to just lay this blessing on your forehead, on your heart. Let it rest in the palm of your hand because there, there is hardly anything this blessing could say, any word it could offer to fill the hollow. Let this blessing work its way into you with its lines that hold nearly unspeakable lament. <clears throat> Let this blessing settle into you with its hope more ancient than knowing. Hear how this blessing has not come alone, how it echoes with the voices of those who accompany you, who attend you in every moment, who continually whisper this blessing to you. Hear how they do not cease to walk with you, even when the dark is deepest. Hear how they encompass you always, breathing this blessing to you, bearing this blessing to you still. And from the liturgy of St. Mark, 4th to the 5th century, we most earnestly beseech thee, O thou lover of mankind, to bless all thy people, the flocks of thy fold. Send down into our hearts the peace of heaven and grant us also the peace of this life. Give life to the souls of all of us and let no deadly sin prevail against us or any of thy people. Deliver all who are in trouble, for thou art our God who sets the captives free, who givest hope to the hopeless and help to the helpless, who liftest up the fallen and art the haven of the shipwrecked. Give thy pity, pardon, and refreshment to every Christian soul, whether in affliction or error, preserve us in our pilgrimage through this life from hurt and danger, and grant that we may end our lives as Christians, well-pleasing to thee and free from sin, and that we may have our portion and lot with all thy saints. Amen.